so let's start from scratch. So I would like us to go to home and we could either look at existing suggestions over here. We could click on more and see what other suggestions Or you could just type wedding invite or invitation, probably more correct, and see if that will come up. Personally, I would like to create a wedding invitation that's landscape. And remember that's seven by five inches. So I'm just gonna click on that and voila, hello, my first page. Now let's talk about the interface, the new one. It's white and it's pretty and it's fresh. Love it. Now you'll see this background color, which means that if you click on that, you'll be able to select from a range of color. Rainbow if you wanted to, but I'm going to click on that because I love this color. Now if we want, we can call it and give it a page title and call it Wedding Invitation. Burgundy, let's say. I just made that up. It's the color, I'm guessing, I think. Or terracotta. Terracotta. So we're going to go to the text here and click on add a text box and it will beautifully automatically create a text box in the middle. So then I want us to start typing whichever name you want. I'm going to type Emily and James which is a very British name. Love it. Now we're going to highlight this. We can either click, click and it will highlight everything or control A or just click and drag to select. And then we can click on uppercase because I want it to be an uppercase. And we're going to start editing the text over here. Very simple, very easy. Over here we have the font, which if you click on this, you can choose from a bunch of fonts. For this purpose, I want to change it to font that's called Bodoni. Bodoni. So if you go to font and you type Bodoni, you will see Bodoni FLF. And I think that's a very pretty font. Now to make it bigger, you can click on the plus and it goes bigger to change the color or we'll go over here and I would like to make it white. Beautiful. If you wanted, you could make it bold. Oh, that's also a nice style. Italic or remember the shortcuts command or control B or command or control I or command or control U for underline or strike through and uppercase. I quite like uppercase. Alignment, so you can align it to the left, to the right, which you can't see now. So we'll look at that later. Now, something that I personally really like is spacing. Let's click on spacing. So you have letter spacing, which means space between the letters or line spacing. If there were multiple lines, there would be more spacing between those lines. Now let's click and drag and add letter spacing and look how beautiful that looks. Great. Now I want to change something. So I want us to click away and then click here. And then if you want to move it, you just click up and down. I want to teach you how to duplicate this. So hold down the alter option key and click and drag. And we've just duplicated this text. And I want us to get rid of and James and have Emily on its own. Click away and move it. Now alt and drag or option and drag and duplicate Emily. And what's nice is you'll see those pink lines appear and those pink lines tell you when you've aligned one frame to the other. Great. Now double click and change it to James type James. I personally quite like when there's a bigger gap between the names. Now I want to click on add a box and have and the and sign in its own box, highlight it and make it bigger by going to the plus here 
And also, I think it looks quite pretty when the end has a different font. So I'm going to click on Bodoni where the font is. And I'm going to type Alex Brush, which is another font that I quite like. There it is. It's pretty. Click on that. Look how pretty <laughs> this end is. Great. Click away. And then you can click. And remember that pink line is telling us it's aligning to the center. Now, I don't think we need this anymore. So select that and press delete and bye bye. <laughs> and then I would like to select all three icons, all three elements. To do that, you click on one, you hold down the shift key. You click on the other, holding down the shift key the entire time, which means add to selection. And now you can move them all together, which is great. Now this is awesome, but I kind of want all these to be smaller. So I'm just going to click and drag from the corners and I can resize them and make it smaller. And can you see that pink line? It's telling me I'm aligned uh, horizontally and now I'm aligned vertically. Although I do want it to be slightly higher and voila. Awesome. Now I'm going to add another text, add text box. And if it's this way, like in divided in three lines and you want it in one line, you just need to click and drag here and pull it. There we go. And we can type invites, invite you to join them. Wedding -y in celebrating their wedding. Great. Obviously it's huge. So let's change it. What's nice is every time you add an additional text box, it will be in the last font you used. So it's still in that same font, which I like because we like when things are cohesive and similar fonts. You don't want to use too many fonts in one design, except when it's kind of cool and a little graphic. Okay. Now let's make this smaller because I feel like it's standing out too much. So go to minus and minus and perhaps nine or eight, maybe nine. And we can either keep it there or push it down a bit further down. Just make sure it's in the center and it has a pink magenta line in the middle. Great. Now let's add another text box. Click and we can type first of June 2026, which is the date. And whatever date you have for your wedding, that's the date you want to type in, obviously. Now, one downside of Canva that I can do super easily in Adobe InDesign, but I can't do in Canva is that ST or let's say there's second ND. In InDesign, you can easily make this smaller and up because usually the way you type it is to make it not the same size. In Canva, you would have to play around and create an additional text box and then kind of fake it, which is what I did for my sister's save the date. But for now, let's leave it and we're going to look at this later. So click on this and move it down. And there we go. Great. Now I would like to add a little decorative line. So I would like us to go to elements and I've recently used the line. So if you click on line, you can choose from any of these, click on line and whoops, it's going to appear here. It actually looks quite good there. So let's see. Now, if we select the line, we can adjust the line. So if we click on line style, we can change the weight. I quite like it very thin, like one. We can have dashed lines and dotted lines, which looks really good as well. Actually, you can have rounded endpoints. So it's rounded, although you can't see it very much because it's very thin. Ooh, how pretty. Now let's add another piece of text. Go to text and click on add text box. And to move it down, you can click on this, click and drag and push it down. And this is where we're going to, where we're going to type 
the address and dress code. So double click or command or control A for select all. It's a shortcut for select all. And we want to change the text type at 5 p.m. dash black tie dress code. Okay, now just so you know, the first one we design is always the one that takes the longest because there's new pieces of text and new elements. But once you do the other ones or variations or thank you card and RSVP, you can just copy and duplicate and just take some of those existing elements and not start from scratch. So bear with me, I promise after this, things will go much more fluent. Okay, this is huge, so let's make this smaller. So we can go to minus and maybe eight. And now we can duplicate this, alter option and drag, and do a second one, but this time we can type fancy hotel, New York, USA, enter first street, Soho, NY. So I'm just inventing, uh, I don't even know if this exists. Yeah, I'm inventing a, a venue. Now I actually want this to be a different font because I think now everything is too much in the same font. So let's see what it would look like if I change the font. So I'm going to select, click and drag or command or control A for select all inside the, the text frame. Click on here and let's X and type Montserrat, Montserrat. And there you go. That's another piece of text. We can also move this down. So this is cool. But in my original, I actually moved the line here. I thought that was better. So let's click on that line and move it down. And I think I prefer that because it gives like a little separation. And don't worry, we'll move things around still. Okay, now for one of the best parts is in my original one, I added this illustration. So there's so many little line drawings and illustrations to choose from that are super cute. So let's do that. Let's go to elements and graphics and click on X. What I did personally, I just typed flowers because it's a wedding, right? So flowery stuff is great. I think I clicked on graphics or all. And actually click on X. You'll see graphics here. So click on see all. I really love these. Recently used magic recommendations featured. I quite like line drawings. I'm going to click on magic recommendations and there's so many cool ones to choose from. So I love books. So for me, that is perfect. I can click on this and it will automatically appear here. And then I can click and drag from the corners, resize it. And of course, change the color and make it white and beautiful. Personally, I would move James and Emily down. So click on Emily, hold down the shift key, click on James, hold down the shift key, click on end. And another thing you can do in Canva is instead of clicking and dragging stuff down, which you can also do, you can use the arrows on your keyboard to move things around. So if you press the downward arrow on your keyboard, then it goes down top arrow, it goes up. So that just makes things a bit faster and easier. And when things are faster and easier, I much prefer them. So <laughs> select this and press down or up. Super easy. Now let's go back and let's type flowers line art and click on enter. So you'll have so many different super cool line art flowers, which we'll look at later. Later, we're going to do things like this, which is really cool. And obviously, maybe you can design your own really cool um, design, basically. Oh, this is pretty, isn't it? So I can click on that 
and maybe decide bye bye this and instead replace it with that and change the color to white and that's also very pretty so there's so many to choose from that are very pretty so choose any of these maybe that one can be very pretty or this one god there's so many to choose from so choose which one you prefer or better yet if you have your own designs and change the color to white because i think it, it goes really well with the style change it to white and just choose whichever one you find the most beautiful and pop it in here. Ooh, that's very pretty. Flowers and a butterfly. Do we have a winner? We might do. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I still preferred my <laughs> light bulb, so I'm just gonna copy Commander Control C and grab that because I still think that was my favorite. I really liked the shape. So I'm going to delete that and perhaps make it bigger. And there we go. I have my design. 